How safe are sweeteners then? Sweeteners have been about the most extensively studied components of our food supply. We know more about sweeteners than we do probably about anything else. Certainly a lot more about sweeteners than we do about the natural constituents and the risk from natural materials present in human food. So we know a huge amount about it, but it's that knowledge which generates a lot of the media and the web-based misinformation about sweeteners. I would recommend anybody who is worried about sweeteners to go to the European Food Safety Authority website as the authoritative source of information on the web. Uh, studies in animals, both short-term, long-term, reproductive studies, there's a huge data package that's necessary to be generated before an, uh, a sweetener could even be considered for acceptable for human food supply. Um, and there are also usually human studies as well, tolerability studies, metabolism studies. There's a huge database that has to be evaluated um, before an ADI can be established. Um, all those studies are designed to produce adverse effects. So the doses are increased until something is seen. And then, having known what the property is that the chemical will produce, then you reduce the doses until you get a dose which does not produce the effect. So if you like, we'll call a safe dose for animals. Uh, the safe dose for animals is then divided by a 100-fold safety factor to give the acceptable daily intake for humans. And then it's up to bodies like the European Commission to ensure that the intake by humans does not exceed the acceptable daily intake. So that's why we can be pretty confident that sweeteners, in fact very confident sweeteners are safe. Except I presume when somebody uses a lot of sweeteners on a daily basis and possibly exceeds the ADI. Well if someone were to do that then they would be basically eroding the 100 fold safety factor. So if they had an intake twice the ADI then their safety factor for that individual on that day would be reduced to a 50-fold factor. But in reality, there have been lots of intake surveys on intense sweeteners um, all around the world, different countries all around the world, and all of the sweeteners, the average intakes are well, well below the ADI. What would your best advice be for parents in terms of um, you know, providing sweeteners for children? Sugar or artificial sweeteners? I would look at the child, to be honest, and if it's an athletic, energetic, running around, healthy-looking child, I'd let them have sugar, no problem at all. You know, they'll need sugar, they'll need calories to burn. Um, if it's a couch potato, uh, spends all his time, his or her time playing computer games, overweight, risk of type 2 diabetes, I would recommend low calorie sweeteners. Does the situation change for pregnant women? Should they now be avoiding sweeteners, do you think? Um, no, because I don't think so, because all of the sweeteners have to go through reproductive toxicity tests. And in fact, they're usually not the tests that are critical to establish the ADI because you need higher doses to have effects in, during pregnancy than you do in long-term lifetime studies in animals. Um, so that the, 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 we think of pregnancy and reproduction as a vulnerable and critical life stage and certainly it is for some chemicals but because sweeteners and other food additives have been tested at, during that life stage then um, there's no reason to reduce intake or worry about intake in pregnant women.